Hi everyone! So today I thought I would show you how to paint clouds or how I paint clouds. That way you can see if these techniques work for you. So we're going to start off with a blank page. I divided mine into two so that I could do two sets of clouds for you. I plan on doing one with the light coming from the left and the other with the light coming from the right just so you can see the different directions. So let's start. First you need some water and a paintbrush. The paintbrush that I'm using is a number four. I also am using gouache paints which are from the Himmy brand. So today I thought we would paint a blue sky for our how to paint clouds. You will need blue paint, whatever kind of blue you want for the background. Here I'm picking a nice light blue. I think it's pretty. It actually reminds me of animation background color. I am adding some water because when I have too much of a dry brush, then it just doesn't flow as easily across the page. Once you have your background done, I want you to clean off your brush, but I'm going to take some white and I'm going to start on the page and just be creative with it. You can look at pictures of clouds, you can draw some clouds ahead of time if you want, just look outside at the sky. Really be free and creative with your clouds whatever way you want to have them go. There's no wrong way to really do a cloud. So here I'm just taking some more white. I'm going to add to it. If you notice, the paint dries darker than when it goes on. So really the first layer is going to be my shadow on the cloud. Now if you'll notice here, I actually took a bit too much white and put it on the paper and or for this lesson, I thought I would show you how to fix that. So after I do this cloud, I'm going to show you. My light source for this is going to be from the left coming down. I'm going to dip my brush in water and clean it off and just take regular water and go over the spots that I think are just too much white. And as you can see, this pretty much blends the cloud better into the background. It gives more of a shadow, but we'll be building on top of that as well later on once it dries more. So once again, I'm going to take some fresh white to make the highlights. And don't forget that the sunlight is coming from the left.
So while this painting is drying, I'm going to start on the next painting. You can either stop and fast forward if you want to just go back to the top painting or you can join me in doing the bottom painting as well. I'm taking some purple from my palette and I'm taking a lot of water this time. You can probably see that the consistency is a lot different than the top painting when I started. I'm using a lot of water, so it's more like watercolor, this one. I'm also going to be mixing blue with it. So I'm gonna take the same blue that I took from the top painting, and I'm going to put it over the purple. And in this way, I'm mixing the colors. I could have mixed them in my palette, but I just decided to do it on the paper. Now I'm not going to wait for this to dry. I want to use the wetness of the paper to make the clouds. So I'm going to clean off my brush and take some white. And I'm just going to start shaping out the cloud. I'm doing little dabs here and there. And I'm not going to re-wet the brush or take more white. I am going to start blending it in with the background so that when it dries, it will be drying darker and it will be my shadow. Okay, so here I'm grabbing more white because I'm gonna start highlighting the clouds in the direction that the sunlight is once again coming. But this time the sunlight is going to be coming opposite the first drawings. So it's gonna be coming from the right. I'm gonna highlight the cloud by picking different spots where I think that sunlight might be hitting. And like I said before, there's no wrong way to do this. Up to you being creative. Just enjoy the creative moment and have fun with it. And really just take your time with this. Have fun, be creative. Don't worry about too much. If you think you screwed something up, it's okay. Remember that your paints will be drying a little darker. So as you can see where we put that shadow where we thought it was maybe too light, it's actually pretty dark and it adds to it where you're putting the light next to it. Okay, so while my second painting is drying now, I'm gonna go back up to the first one. Here I'm taking more white because I want to add more highlights to where the sunlight will be hitting the clouds. So like I said before, my sunlight is coming from the left side, so I'll be putting more white on the left sides of the clouds. Try to picture where the sunlight might hit it. And if you're having trouble, like I said, it's okay to look at cloud pictures for reference.
Painting clouds are a good way to get ideas as well for your sketchbook. Sketchbook ideas can come from anywhere, but if you just keep practicing every day, I guarantee that you will not only become better at the craft, but you will enjoy painting more. So now that I've finished with the top painting again, now I'm going to go back down to the bottom one because as you can see, it has been drying and it's dried a darker shade than I wanted. So once again, I'm going to highlight. So it's not just a one-time stroke across the paper. I go back and touch up two to four times. You might do things differently, maybe you put down a lot of paint, but I like to gradually build up, kind of like with watercolors, and you can use gouache like watercolors by adding more water. Gouache is between the acrylic and watercolor consistency, so I would rather build up than make a mistake and not be able to fix it. Once you're finished, make sure that your painting is relatively dry before you remove the tape. And when you remove your tape, try to do it at a tilting angle, otherwise you might bring up the paper with your tape as well. Be gentle and careful and slow about it. And here are the finished paintings. As you can see, they look a little bit different when they're dry, but I'm really happy with the overall effect. I think between the two, my favorite is the bottom picture. There's just something about that big cloud that I really like. What's your favorite? Leave a comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to paint clouds with gouache for beginners. I will have different tutorials in the future and I hope you will join me for those as well. Take care. Bye.